John 14 verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Good evening everyone and uh, welcome to our talk once again for this evening. One of the things I've missed very much at this time of the year being in lockdown and I think Helen does as well is we love to traipse around National Trust properties and stately homes both locally and slightly further afield and uh, we like nothing more than to wander through the houses room by room out into the gardens usually designed by Capability Brown and finish off at the coffee shop for the obligatory cappuccino, Earl Grey tea and Victoria sponge. And from time to time as I walk around these houses I'm reminded by uh, that passage that we've just heard, my father's house and many mansions. You know, sometimes it can be hard to square the elderly, occasionally decrepit room that I'm standing in and staring at with the vision of heaven mentioned in this passage. However, there are many, many other times when the room in which we're standing is simply so breathtaking and so lovely that Jesus' words seem to come to life in this context. Heaven described as a mansion in all its majesty and splendour, built and designed by God for his followers to eventually live in. Christians have sometimes been described as being so heavenly minded that they are no earthly good. However, I, I can't help but wonder sometimes whether the problem is exactly the opposite. Perhaps if we took the idea of heaven more seriously and took time to think through the implication of God in his love, wanting us to join him there eternally, it might have a radical influence on how we treat God's creation and his people in the here and now. Heaven is where God is, so many of us were taught when we were children. And maybe we can have a foretaste of heaven in our parish community as it means what we learn, what it means to radically love one another as God in Christ has loved us. We have had to learn over the last few days and weeks what it means to love in new ways. But the source is the same, God in heaven loving us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for those many rooms, those many mansions. We thank you for the joy and the hope and the promise of heaven. May that be our guiding principle as we love other people with whom we come into contact. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good night.